Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have been meal prepping weekly since the start of my journey. It's one of the key components in my overall weight loss success. So today we're making a breakfast, a lunch, and a dessert snack. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because we do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will have my recipe website. That is where you will find all three of today's recipes, well, all of the recipes that I've created, as well as nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's get started on meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I'm making peanut butter and jelly overnight oats. I've been craving something cold for breakfast and I've been craving oats. I love overnight oats. I love peanut butter and jelly. So what could be better? And let me show you what's in the recipe. So you're going to need rolled oats of your choice, chia seeds, any milk. I'm gonna use Fairlife because the extra protein, I'll take it. Sugar-free maple syrup, any type of nut butter. I'm using this natural nut butter. All it is is peanuts and salt frozen strawberries, and some salt. So let's put together some overnight oats. I'm really excited for this for breakfast this week. So we're going to do half of a cup of rolled oats, and then half of a cup of milk, two teaspoons of peanut butter, a teaspoon of chia seeds, and a teaspoon of sugar-free maple syrup a pinch of salt, and then I'm going to do four big frozen strawberries. Here is what the overnight oats are looking like, and then I just like to shake to get everything combined. And here's our peanut butter and jelly overnight oats. Let's put together two more jars. I'm making three total. I was worried you blow my reputation But I figured it's not on me Yeah, yeah, yeah The way you make it make sure Here is one of the overnight oats that I haven't mixed up. Just shake it really, really good. We'll combine everything for you. And then there are, this is what the oats look like once it's mixed together. This is going to be such a great breakfast. We have protein, we have healthy carbs, we have healthy fat with the nut butter. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. One jar is one serving. I'm so excited for my lunch this week. I'm making air fryer chicken legs, grilled asparagus, and deviled egg pasta salad. Doesn't that sound amazing like a picnic for lunch? Let me show you what you'll need. So I'm doing four chicken drumsticks and for the air fryer drumsticks, you'll need some baking powder and then some seasoning, some cumin, garlic powder, paprika, and then some salt and pepper. And then for the asparagus, I'll just season that with these same seasonings and some salt and pepper as well. And then for the deviled egg pasta salad, you're going to need chives. You can use fresh chives. That's what I was going to do, but they didn't have any fresh chives at Walmart. So I'm going to use dried chives. You'll need paprika. Pasta, of course I'm doing fiber gourmet. I love this pasta. It's about 50% less calories and points than traditional pasta. It's only 110 calories per serving and you're getting 24 grams of fiber and seven grams of protein. It tastes just like regular pasta. There's literally no, different, no difference, but you get to save a ton of calories and points and you get fiber and you get protein. So I buy mine off of Nettrition. I do have a discount code for Nettrition. I'll link it down below for you. You're also going to need some baby pickles, light mayo, Dijon mustard, hard boiled eggs. I'm just using the ones that I bought at Costco, the pre-done, an onion, salt and pepper, and then bacon of your choice. Again, I'm using fully cooked bacon, 
to make my life easy. So let's get started on lunch. So to make my air fried chicken drumsticks and my asparagus, I'm using my Medea air fryer grill combo. I absolutely love this. The bottom is an oven, so you can grill your veggies, you could do potatoes, whatever your preference. You have both an air fryer and an oven in one. It is so handy to have. The quality of this is fantastic. So the first thing we're going to do is mix together all of the seasoning for the chicken drumsticks. So we're going to start with half of a teaspoon of baking powder, half of a teaspoon of cumin, half of a teaspoon of both salt and pepper, half of a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then a full teaspoon of paprika. And then I'm just going to mix all of those spices together. And then I'm going to place my chicken drumsticks on a cutting board and we're going to pat them dry. And then I'm going to spray them lightly with some nonstick cooking spray. And then we're going to rub the seasoning on the drumsticks and we'll flip it, them over and repeat. I have my air fryer, the top portion, 400 degrees, have it set for 10 minutes. I'm going to allow it to warm before we actually put the chicken drumsticks in. What I love about the Medea air fryer is it's dual meals with one air fryer. It allows you to choose the air fryer function in the upper compartment and roast function in the under compartment at the same time to sink the finish of two dishes, which basically means you can easily cook two dishes with different cuisine methods by using one air fryer. It has independent control, even heating with three elements in two separate baskets, toaster oven and air fryer, and precise zone temperature control creates a crispy and juicy results. Air fryer basket is a large six quart basket and the lower oven is a five quart baking pan that provides 11 quarts total of large capacity cooking. The air fryer has eight preset menus, air fry, grill, dehydrate, bake, roast, broil, reheat, and toast. The app has has 50 plus recipes at your fingertips. The air fryer is amazing for oil-free baking for ultimate crispiness. 360 degree high speed hot air circulation drives the airflow all around the basket for a perfect golden finish and crispy, juicy, tender results every time. The 3D baking allows every surface to be perfectly toasted or grilled. It has a 360 degree high speed hot air circulation as well. You can use the sink finish button to have both the upper air fryer and the bottom oven finish at the same time. Make it easy to make two dishes cooked at different temperatures and different times, but have them finish at the exact same time for a hot, fresh meal. It's extremely nice quality and extremely easy to clean. So I have my air fried chicken drumsticks and my grilled asparagus from my Medea air fryer grill combo. Don't forget, I will have it linked down below for you with the discount. So I cooked my pasta per package directions, drained it, threw it into a large bowl. We're going to let this cool. So I halved five eggs and removed the yolk, popped the yolk into a bowl. I'm going to smash that up just a little bit. And basically we're making a deviled egg filling for the pasta salad. So we're going to add three tablespoons of light mayo. and about three teaspoons of Dijon mustard, paprika, and you can also add cayenne pepper. It is part of the recipe, but I skipped it because that's a little too spicy for me. And then we're going to do just a little bit of salt and pepper, and then go ahead and mix that filling together. Now we're going to add that directly to the pasta and then stir to coat. And then I chopped up half of that onion and then this is the entire pack of bacon. It actually calls for three and a half ounces. This is only two ounces. That's all I have. So we're gonna do two ounces of bacon. And if you're wondering where I got this really cute dog glass cutting board, I actually got this at a little shop in Tubac, Arizona when Rachel and Kelly were here visiting from San Diego. But I'll see if I can find it online and link it for you. And then I'm just going to give that a quick mix. Then we're going to add in our chopped pickles, the egg whites, I also chopped those, and some chives, and then we're going to mix that all together. Ooh, this looks so good. There's the deviled egg 
pasta salad. So let me go ahead and put together my meal prep and I'll show you what it looks like. So here is my lunch. I could not be more excited for this. So I have my air fried chicken drumsticks and my grilled asparagus from my Medea air fryer. And then I have my deviled egg mac, deviled egg pasta salad. What a perfect lunch. We have carbs, lots of protein, a veggie. Like I said, it gives total picnic vibes and I'm here for it. For dessert, a snack this week, I am making old fashioned date squares. I love dates, they're nature's candy, nature's sugar. It's such a great way to sweeten things naturally. And I love anything in a bar form with flour and oats. I'm so excited for these. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need rolled oats, all purpose flour, sweetener of your choice. I'm using allulose. I love allulose. It's naturally occurring sweetener derived from figs and raisins. I love it. It tastes just like regular sugar. I buy it off of Amazon. I'll link it for you. I found the best price. I absolutely love it. There's no cooling, no weird aftertaste. It's definitely a game changer. And then I have brown sugar substitute. This is Lakanto. I will be looking for an alternative to Lakanto once this is gone. I just dislike that cooling effect a lot. And that's why I love allulose because it's not there. And then you'll need some light butter, some dates, lemon juice, and baking soda. So the first thing you want to do is make your date filling because it has to cool completely. So I have half of a cup packed of dates. I went ahead and just chopped them up, pitted them, and chopped them. Half of a cup of water half of a cup of allulose, and about a half of a teaspoon of lemon juice. And we're going to heat this over medium heat, bringing it to a boil, and then removing it from the heat. And then we're going to throw it in the refrigerator so it can cool. So we're going to make the base of the date bars and the topping. So we're going to add in the rolled oats, all-purpose flour, brown sugar, and then six tablespoons of light butter. And we're going to kind of cut that into the flour, sugar, and oat mixture. Just break it up into smaller chunks. And you do want your butter to be cold. And then I mix together half of a teaspoon of baking soda and a tablespoon of hot water. And we're going to add that and then give it a stir. So I have an eight by eight baking dish sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. Here is our mixture. We're going to add about half of it to the bottom of our baking dish. You may need a little bit more. You want this to make a thin, even layer at the bottom of the baking dish. This is basically the crust of the bars. We're going to add the date mixture right on top. And then I'm going to just kind of crumble the remaining mixture right on top of the dates. So we're putting this into a 350 degree oven for about 18 to 24 minutes. So here are the date bars. Oh my gosh, these look so good. Look at that. Yum, I can't wait for these this week. I will go ahead and put all of the points, calories, and macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited as I am about these three recipes. Don't forget, these recipes are on my website. It is at the top of the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. I hope you have an amazing, successful week, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.